Hey guys, what's good? Brian Pang here. Welcome back or welcome to the pandemic where our content is contagious. Today we are going to be playing the new and highly played deck that's actually really popular at the moment. It's Weeping Bell Slazer or how I'll say Weeping Lizard. Okay, uh, everyone's been playing it around the ladder. It's been gaining a lot of popularity just because it's such a budget deck. It literally just costs £5 less than that. And yeah, so let's jump into some few games. So I'll see you there. So, the main two Pokemon that we need for this deck to work is our Slazzle, just because of its attack, if I could click it, uh, for the Diverse Roasting, does uh, 90 damage for each um, special condition on your opponent's Pokemon, so we can, the maximum we can do is 270 plus the Poison and the Burn damage, so that's quite handy, paired up with a Weeping Belt, insane, with its Dangerous Mucus, play it, evolve it, burn you and poison your opponent active Pokemon, so that's already 180 Paired with the Team Yell Horn, um, both players Pokemon is confused, so that's quite handy. So you do that, you play all for, for play the Weeping Bird, the Horn, and attack with the Slazzles. That's that's 290 plus the 30 damage from the Burn and Confusion. I mean Burn and Poison. Okay, and then the rest of the deck is all about consistency. So you play the one Crowbat, so you can discard it. Well, so you can draw six cards. We play the Denny, so you can discard a whole hand, draw six. We play the one Jirachi. Which is quite good since you can look at a top two card deck and put one card to your hand and leave the other one on top, so that's quite good. Uh, so, can I set up for next time? We play the one Mind Report Mewtwo, so you can put a supporter to our top of the deck, which is quite nice. The Mew we play for the bench barrier, uh, so our Pokemon won't get knocked out by our bench, or your, so your opponent can go Ushifu V Mats, knock out our bench Pokemon, or uh, Peak Rom with the Tag Bolt GX. Okay. And then we play the Aura Courier, so if our Pokemon's Pokemon is knocked out, which tend to because our Pokemon is low HP, we can draw a free card out of it and give us more option for playability. So that's quite handy and it's really useful. Okay, so that's the Pokemon with 20 Pokemon. And then we play 4 Level Ball, which pretty much make this deck consistent, since you can look your, well, search your deck for a Pokemon that's 90 HP health, that's good. Okay. Uh, this one, Ordinary Roy, sometimes when you have a dot hand and you have to professor research some decent Pokemon, part of your combo piece, Ordinary Rod is a great way to shuffle back so you always have Pokemon in your deck. And you play the one communication, I think one's enough, you could play two or three, but I think one enough with four quick ball and four level ball, great way of consistency and you don't really need it, but sometimes you need that one search that I think one's enough because or else it'd be quite dead. Okay. And then we play four of the quick ball, quick ball consistency, the scar card draw for look your deck for basic Pokemon add to your hand, so that's quite handy. And part of our combo is scoop on net. Scoop on net, you tend to want to go bell sprout, uh, weeping bell, and then scoop on net your weeping bell, so your bell sprout get back, and then you play another bell sprout and evolve it. So if you have two bell sprout down and evolve to a weeping bell, then scoop on net. Next turn you can get easy uh, thing, or you can save it. So then when you have a Weeping Belt and a Bell Sprout, you just can scoop on that, that uh, Weeping Belt, evolve your Bell Sprout that's currently on the bench, and then play that Bell Sprout that you just return to your hand. So there's a lot of combo with this deck, and I really like it. This card's insane in the deck, uh, so that's good. Um, our four uh, Yell Horn, really good. Uh, pretty much does everything in the deck. It, oh, it, it adds a special condition for a trainer cost, so that's really handy. Um, and then you play three bosses order. Uh, we can ideally play four bosses order if we go pair it up with the Mewtwo. But yeah, three because essentially all you need to do is just aim for the big Pokemon. Since you can, if you just knock out a tag team, you get three prizes. If you knock out a V Pokemon, two prizes. V three prizes. So three is good enough. Your opponents tend to have one on the active, and so you just knock that out, and then you boss up the other two. So you're always in position for a shot at getting more prizes. Uh, Bruno, uh, we play three of them. I think this card is insanely good. The more I play with this deck or test behind off camera, I thought this card is really good. Uh, when I played the deck, I found that you're lacking draw cards, so this adds consistency issue. And when your Pokemon is always your Pokemon will always get knocked out, so you play this, you draw seven, and then plus with the old curry, you draw ten in that one turn. Insane. Like I said, play three of them, two money, just because I like the hand disruption. And uh, when your opponent plays Asian, Draw three and have like six card or eight cards in the hand. Playing this to downsize the hand, put you in good position. 
because you tend to have like two or three cards in your hand or you don't want to get rid of any cards. Okay, I uh, played the full research. Uh, if you have a dead hand, a hand that's not playable, research, discard your whole hand, draw seven. Broken. Okay, we move to the next one. We play one air balloon and one U turn ball. Uh, they're pretty much the same card. I play one of each just because air balloon uh, minus two retreat costs. So, in case your opponent play attack absorb, which increases our, uh, well, our retreat cost of our Pokemon by one, air balloon can get around that. However, the one U turn ball. It's pretty much infinite because if you attach the U-turn ball and then get knocked out, the U-turn ball get back to your hand, or the U-turn ball get discarded, always back to your hand. And then we just play, which well, so the U-turn ball is insane, so that's really handy. Then we play uh, our four triple incineration energy. Since our only Pokemon for attacking is a, well, it's usually just a uh, stage one Pokemon triple incineration. It's a nice way of doing that, of getting the attack. That you need for one energy and a twin energy uh, you can uh, instantly use our, our Salazzle attack. So, yeah, deck is really good. We have other variable attackers, variety of attackers, should I say, uh, with the Psypod with Mew in case you need to do the extra free damage or against certain matchup. The Psypod is just consistent. But, yeah, other than that, the deck is really good, uh, really low budget. So, yeah, let's jump on a few games and you can see for yourself how good it is. All right. Okay, so with this deck, we tend to want to go first just so we can play all of our bench Pokemon as fast as possible. And so, next turn or turn two, we can just knock it out. But it seems like we're not going to go first. However, we did draw pretty good, I guess. Uh, we draw a Slandits to start off the Poke active. I did, I think the best start for it is probably Bell Sprout just so you can have it and then evolve it next time. Nonetheless, we're in quite a good position. Okay, so we're playing against a Fire Deck, more likely Victini or Center Scorch. Uh, yeah, we like to draw two more cards. Okay, still no Pokemon. Okay, so I don't understand what, what our opponent's doing because he's playing Welder, playing Fire Deck. Usually, when you play Welder and Fire Deck, uh, you tend to want to go first. I'm getting, sorry, it's tend to go second just so you can weld and draw three cards and just keep and just knock it out in the first turn. So I think my opponent did a mistake by doing that. However, it's not my problem. <laughs> okay, so we're going to quick all the way. Let's go the Bruma. Jirachi. Play the Archie there. Uh, attach a new turn board. Uh, Team the Air Horn. Just so in case he can knock this out. And now we scoop on that. The Salazzle. Bring that out. Drop the Salazzle. And do I think he's going to knock me out? No. Um, We drop this and then just go research. <clears throat> okay, so now we've pretty much got what we want next turn. Uh, um, okay, so I do. I kind of want to just go dream revelation to see what we have on that card. Bosses always our energy. We get the energy just in case. That's quite nice. I was hoping to try to get another uh, Slandit, Slandit face that one on the bench, but this is okay. Okay, so we're just gonna end our turn since there's nothing we can really do. We did most of the stuff, we searched for everything, so now we're just gonna wait again. <coughs> hmm. So, the reason why I did that, so now he can't one shot it, and if he does it, he takes one damage, and then, oh, he's not even attacking. Okay, right, we can one shot this Pokemon now. Alright, so let's try to go for it. Play that. Okay, uh, oh, opponent gave up. He must have just drew terrible. But yeah, that's a win. You can tell that we can one shot him if you just draw a Bell Sprout. So yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> weaving belt, but okay, so move on to the next game. Okay, so, so far we're, we won. <laughs> Can't really say anything bad about that. Okay, let's hope we go first, because our hand is looking quite good. Um, 
I just want to draw a Marnie or something just so I don't discard this. Okay, we're playing against ADP and they're going first. Let's see if we can one shot this Pokemon. Okay, in that case, we have to dig hard there. Because the last thing I want is. Well, this could be our weak matchup or best matchup, so. Okay, so it seems like we're in a good position. We're drawing this. And in that case, I don't think I need to do anything. Because next turn, he's got auto creation. GX. So it makes so you can so when you knock out a Pokemon, we get two prizes. And then that's fine. And then that's when I go evolve. Slammed it. I don't think I need to draw it, it's a team yell. Grunt. But I think if I draw, I'll have more of a chance of drawing more cards if I just evolve, evolve, play that. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. I don't need to play anything else. I don't really want to waste my hand since my hand is already good. Now, hopefully, he's going to end this turn and not play any more Pokemon, but he probably going to money me because he seems that Crowbat. Yeah, okay, Crowbat for one. So, he's had a bad hand. And yeah, so ideally, he's got auto creation, GX, then we're going to knock out this Pokemon, and then we go win. Okay, calling it now, we're going to win. We're going to win this game <clears throat> against the best deck, which it is <laughs> actually really good since uh, ADP, uh, there's like uh, four tournaments so far. Uh, one has been 300, the other one's been 200 and uh, 250, and ADP been kind of winning third and fourth. Okay, so let's see if we can draw the combo. Okay, we're one card away. One card away. Okay, I'll put it off. Okay, so that's two condition. Right. Ideally, I could have just evolved this and then play Crowbat and draw, but if, uh, but. The reason why yeah, Tino Grant, I mean Tino Horn yeah, allow us to um, or well, give both Pokemon confusion. So we, however, if you evolve yeah, it, it get real dope special condition. Okay, so let's draw six. Okay, we didn't draw it. We didn't draw it. Oh. I have to play it. I didn't want to, but I have to. Now we go, Professor Research, and we better draw it. We didn't draw it, guys. We didn't draw it. Oh, that's so peak. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We move. We're still in good position. Uh, we just get a deal. 180. They take that. Take a fight. Okay, so we got the potential knockout for the free, but now let's just see what our opponent have. Because they're gonna knock this out, get two prizes, and then we just need to keep attacking. Yeah, that's fine. We was one card away from knocking out this card. Oh. But it's okay, it's okay, we're still in a good position. Well, this is quite a tough position. If he draw good, or he do the switch, then what is he doing? Is he going to Dene and draw six? He might just give up because he misplayed. That was a misplay. Well, that was just stupid. Doesn't make sense doing this play. Okay, it's just Intrepid Sword. Okay, so it seems like we're going to win this game. Simply go win the price drop. Okay, so we go. Leaping uh, Bell onto the Pro Bat, put special condition on that. We go Level Ball um, for a Salazzle. We're going to evolve to Salazzle so we have an attacker for next turn. We're going to quick ball away the Mew since the Mew is not doing this matchup for a card that we don't really need. Uh, at the moment, we don't really need the Slander. Oh, I don't know. We don't really need the Gadene. Try to avoid that. So, <clears throat> we're going to just 
mine either. So put the, the day out bar with that because I don't need it. Perfect. Perfect. We're quite set up on that. It's 10 now because we'll just go place Q foot net to return the weeping bell to our hand. So we can play the bell strap. And then I'll just do a quick check. Okay. Uh, good position. And do 180 and knock out. And then get two prizes. So that's pretty much a combo. If you had the team yeah horn, then yeah, you get it does another extra 90 damage. But anyway, all we do, yeah, it's just need to knock out this Pokemon, which we pretty much got the combo. Play this and then knock out. Um yeah. We're we're living good guys, we're living good. Okay, so um, this is always a coin flip matchup. If I went first, it would be a different story, but hey, it's okay. So they're playing Fion down somewhere. Did he try to use Fion as an attack? I believe on the, the Dene, that's fine. In retrospect, I'm pretty sure we got this. But anyhow, yeah, if he's a good player, he'd quick ball for a mile while. But I doubt that was gonna happen. Yeah, he's not. The reason why I said Marwile, Marwile is a two prizer. Um, just so he can knock out all these Pokemon instead of uh, using the ADP. Because if I knock this out, then it's easy for me to knock. Well, it's so easy. He's gonna get the Crow back, get the extra two, three prizes. But now, since after doing that, yeah, we. I'm not going to bet any more GX Pokemon V Pokemon just so they can get an advantage. So if you knock this, I get three prizes. And then if you knock this, I get two prizes. So I can only have one left. Well, uh, if you knock this out, uh, that's pretty much everything gone. Okay, so we attached our energy there. We don't want any attached it to here. Um, I think we'll just go Weeping Bell. And always going to burn our opponent. Uh, I don't think we're going to play any more Pokemon, so we'll just go Jirachi this. Uh, get a Bell Spark for the Sentry, that's all we need. Because that's saying just Weeping Bell, so that's quite nice. Uh, just create a look for our skull pile. Okay, so we probably go ordinary rod, shuffle back a land it to our bottom of the deck, and then we'll just go Marnie down, shuffle the whole hand. Okay, now we're we'll pretty much put our opponent in checkmate. Now, I, now he can't pretty much do anything. We're in a strong position because uh, at the end of the day, we're going to knock this out. He's going to bring this up. Knock this out, and then that's when we go Team Yao Horn Grunt, and then we go win and take the game. So let's just do 180. We grab three prizes one, two, and three. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, we're going to win this game, and our opponent's weak to fire. Um, yeah, we do fire and our main attacker is fire, so essentially we just need to do two. But well, we need your weakening back. <laughs> okay, so it seems like our opponent's trying to do something. Which I have no idea what he's trying to do. Boss is all dirt, yeah. Okay, so he realized that we can't do it. However, uh, him playing the Elder Goss is making us win. And I'll show you what. Elder Goss is weak to fire. He didn't there. So now we can one shot this or we can one shot this. Okay, so we are going to get. We'll give our opponent the well played. 
is I put the slander up front. Okay, and this is why uh, we do boss's order on the uh, Elder Ghost. Team Yell Grunt. Let's see if we can do this before. And then now we evolve it and it get rid of the special condition. And now we attack for 90 times to 180, and that's how you win this matchup. But yeah, the deck is quite cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I'm glad you actually witnessed how good it is, and you can see the combo of it is actually quite fun. It's quite think, uh, thinking that because you have to see you have to uh, place your pieces for your next turn for the big attack. So that's quite cool. Okay, so we're two for two uh, so far with this deck, and it's like it's a budget deck. It's quite fun. It teaches you most of the basics of, of the game with the like to go first. Heck yeah. Okay, next we open with Snazzle. A Snazzle. Oh, this is our worst Pokemon to open up with. Well, not one of the worst. It's actually not that bad to open up. But I do, I do want to draw it. Okay, so we beat the best deck, which was ADP, and we just beat a rogue deck, I think. I can't remember what it was. Okay, so it's playing Peak Roll or a Thunder deck. Oh, it's probably playing Tapu Koko VMAX. Because that deck has been seen a lot of plays since it came first out of like a, a 139 man tournament or something like that. Uh, so yeah, we really like to draw an extra card. Okay, we still draw bad. Okay, this this is where we might lose. Uh, so we play this to discard this. You like this? Very for it. Very for it. We have to play quite fast because if our opponent is able to use the Paralyzed Burn yet, <clears throat> we're going to just lose this game. So we have to just go for it, even though our hand is quite good. With the drop, even though we have two energy and two bosses and our evolution stage, we can't afford it. <clears throat> so we're going to just. <clears throat> Pokemon communication that away. Look at this. Drop this here, and we play this for the easy retreat, and then we just end our time. Okay, so now if he can pull this off out of the paralyzed bolt, then we're in a tough position because the only way I can see he can do it first time is the Scarlet Energy, uh, play Tapu Koko Prism, remove it, attach to energy, then end switch, well, then attach energy. Or any switch if he doesn't put this on his bank, so it's quite uh, high maintenance. So he's playing uh, by his main people. Hopefully, this opponent doesn't know how to beat me because if he does, yeah, it would just keep this on active and keep attacking for 50. But it seems like he's going to focus on this, and we can one shot this quite easily, so that's not a problem for us. Okay, doesn't know how to play against us, which is really good. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't really showcase a deck, but it's still alright. So now we just need to draw a Weeping Bell and an Energy, and we can knock this out. I think he's trying to focus on this. Okay. Okay. We drew it. <laughs> we drew it. Guys, we drew it. Would you like to leave your opponent? Yes, we want to put in Poison the thing. Okay. Uh, then, since that happened, we're going to bounce this uh, Weeping Bell to our hand. Drop it back down, and then play the money. Shuffle back his whole hand. Okay, okay. We still need your energy. We go play level ball. Okay, that's just good. Okay, we got free energy, so that means we can only attack three times, which is not good. It's quite risky, but it's fine. Play this here. Where were we just going to play this? Get rid of that. Even though the mute could be quite good. Uh, I. Oh my god, I didn't see. I. Oh yeah, I'm playing my Dodano. Okay. Just need your energy. There's three in my deck. If I play this, 
I don't really want to, but I minimise the chance, I only get higher the chance by one card, so now I'm going to draw five cards. Hopefully I'll draw it. Oh, I didn't draw energy. Didn't draw energy. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, in that case, our Pokemon's going to get knocked out. So, let's just set up and have a slam there. That's OP. And that's not peak to anything. Next turn, he's going to try to attack with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I missed. Oh, I missed. Well, I didn't really miss play. I I didn't see I had the Dene, but hopefully, we won't get punished for that. Hopefully, he can't attack me yet because it seemed like. Okay, so you just need an energy. But does he have an energy in the skull pile? He does. He has. Okay, he's gonna do this pop, pop, put energy here, energy there. No, oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. And we got real it's free energy. So we need to attack three times. You can only attack three times. So you have to make those attack count. Which is quite viable. All we need to do is just knock out this and knock out that. I was hoping not getting this out, but I'm pretty sure our opponent is dumb enough that he won't see why this card's good against me. There's a go, just ball for this. Okay, I need to write energy, a team yell, horn, and a weeping bell. And I can knock out this uh, peak bomb. So this is where he's thinking, should I attach the free energy here and then knock it out? Oh, he's doing that. Okay, we just need to draw it. Okay, so you draw part of the piece. Team yell, or yell horn, uh, slam it. Okay, I can taste victory right here. So we play the Quick Pool, discard the Bruno, grab a card that we don't need. Uh, we probably won't need this. Okay, right. We need to draw the Weeping Bow energy, and then we win. Come on! Oh, we did, we did, we did. Okay, uh, so we attach the energy here. Uh, we'll get a level ball away for a Weeping Bow. Drop the weeping bell. Give our opponent the <laughs> the middle finger. <laughs> uh, retreat into a slam slazzle. Okay, and then now we're gonna play scoop point net to return our weeping bell. So that next turn. So we'll prep for next turn. And now we're just gonna go. Let's do two hundred and seventy. Knock it out. And then grab three prizes. And our opponent's gonna scoop up because he can't draw. He has no way of getting out of this situation now. And then these are our energy. Okay. And we pretty much won. Our opponent's going to give up because he can't um, attach energy as fast since his Tapu Koko Prison discard was the main reason why he managed to speed up. So now he needs to play quite slow or he's going to give up. So he needs to get a bolt on, attach energy to a bolt on retreat, but it seems like he's not doing it. I don't know why he's doing this. He could have just free retreat. Oh, damn, that's rubbish. Though. The whole time I thought it was to retreat. That's all I don't know. Okay, he's gonna play that guy, the Dene. So now, uh, since we've managed to get as many energy as possible, we want to aim for this Tapu, I mean, aim for the right shift since it's just a one shot. So we need to draw, uh, not the Weeping Bell, we need to draw a, not Weeping Bell, uh, what's your common jig? The Yell Horn, okay. So, Marnie, our sense of hand is quite mahusive. Okay, the other reason why this deck is really fun, yeah, and good, yeah. It beats a uh, tag team team up deck. As you can see, I'm literally just destroying this Donnie, showing who's boss, no mercy. Yeah, sweep the leg. <laughs> Okay, so probably don't want to get that. Ideally, we want to go with a team yell form, but it's okay. So now we're going to play the Weeping Bell, uh, poison and burn that Pokemon. Uh, so we can Bruno and try to set for next turn. 
I do like that idea. Because I don't really want to get rid of this, but then you play this, you draw seven cards, so that'd be ten left. You need to draw a scoop on that. Yeah, I think we're playing that. Here. Zero, 19 knock it out. I don't know what. I need to draw a scoop on that. Or I need a Pokemon to get knocked out and then we can try it. Okay. So our opponent kind of lost this game because he went greedy, greedy uh, for attaching all the energy onto his uh, Pikachu Zekron rather than uh, putting a free energy on here or on the uh, Vika Vault. So he's being punished quite hard because at the moment he's struggling to attach energy. So you play that, okay, that's his only energy voice. He skipped energy last time. Okay, so we need to draw. Stop drawing these cards. Okay, our opponent's gave up because he clearly has no way, probably have run out of energy. But yeah, the 3 0 with this deck. And this deck is quite sick and really, really fun. And you just witness how good it is. <laughs> so we won three games with our Weeping Lizard, Slazzle, Weeping Bear, however you want to call it, the budget deck. And it was quite convincingly. It was fun. Uh, sometimes you need to draw the deck, draw one card in it, which is funny. And uh, you have to be, and the thing about the deck, it may seem quite simple how to win. But if you think about it, it's quite a strategic deck because you have to like, Count how many cards is in your deck. Know how many of each copies is in what in your deck, and then make sure to always play the probability so you ratio your deck. So you let's say you need to draw uh, these three cards out of a fifteen card deck. So the probability of hitting that is one in five. You have to make sure to always think about that. But consider it as a budget deck. It was brand new from the battle side with the Slazzle and the Weeping Belt. The deck has potential, it has weak, well, it's a fire Pokemon attacker, so that's weak to a cover like V or VMAT, Zacian, and it's quite good at ADP. And yeah, big damage with one prize Pokemon, but the combo piece is pretty much you need four cards. But yeah, other than that, it's really fun. I'll say check it out if you haven't done so and you enjoy how fun it is. The list I think that I'm showcasing is probably perfect. Uh, there may be like one or two cards, like Probably put on a Galarian Zigzagoon, but that's too much combo when it's unnecessary. What we have now is perfect. So yeah, if there's any changes you would like to do attack deck, uh, message me on or comment down below. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and welcome to the pandemic where our content content is contagious. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. <laughs>